Hello everybody, my name's M -A -T and welcome to M&M Arena and today we are going to be celebrating Kaldheim and we're going to be cracking some pre-release packs. Now, at my local LGS we do happen to get two extra packs for competing in the actual normal pre-release day where obviously we can't do that at the moment. So I got a couple of packs and because my camera is absolutely shocking, it didn't record any of it. So just for your own reference, the one good thing I got out of it is the Nico Artist Full Art Planeswalker. Now, I don't really understand the card at all because it says when Nico enters the battlefield, create X shard tokens. And I don't understand where shard makes any difference at all. So maybe I'm missing a card that's supposed to do something with this. But um, and then we got uh, bears, uh, the bears of Litajara, Litajara, Lit yeah, something like that. I don't know. Uh, Blood on the snow, which we all know about, which is a half decent card. There we go. Right, we've got we've got some sort of focus again. Marvelous. Right, okay, so I don't know how this camera is going to hold up, but obviously I'm not going to make up anything about obviously bringing in different packs or like that, because to be honest, I've got better things to do in my life than to cheat. So you're all going to see what I open up as we go along. It may be out of focus, but you'll probably be able to tell what it's going to be. So let's uh, let's do this. Okay, so check the guy out over there. Right, okay, so there's the spin down dice, and straight away, a dark ball pathway. You know what, for my promo, uh, there we go, right, we're back in the room. Dark ball pro, I mean, I am well chuffed with that. That is a pretty damn good promo to have, so that will do, thank you very much, and you know, might be worth something, you never know. Right. There's the six packs. I'm gonna put this over here. I wonder if that's annoying the focus so, so that's probably why we'll just get it out of the way. And right, okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm gonna get this, uh, open these packs up and we'll see what we get. So I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm as excited for this set as I was with Commander Legends and being a Commander player myself, but uh, you know what? I mean, I, I, I am excited. I am. I enjoy doing these pack openings with everybody. So, uh, and you know what? I really wish I was doing the pre-release and actually being able to play them as well. That would be quite nice as well. So, uh, uh, I'm not going to go through too many of these uh, commons because you're all going to see them anyway. Uh, Gates of Istvel. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the land cycle anyway. Uh, Kaya's Onslaught. Frost Augur. And... King's Nafri's Betrayal. So each player mills four cards, then you may exile a creature or planeswalker card from that. Until end of turn, you may cast spells from among cards exiled. Okay, interesting. Uh, it, it seems okay. I, 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 I feel it's all right. Um, hang on, I think I've got another. Uh, oh, foil. Whatever the hell that is. Iron Verdict. Okay, three damage deals five damage to target tap creature, and you can foretell it for one. That's not bad. I mean, a foil version, so you pay two mana to foretell it, and then at instant speed, you can do five damage to target tapped creature. That's not terrible. I mean, I'm talking obviously for standard because there's no way it would make any, do any good in uh, Commander. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, we'll see how we go on. I don't, I mean, it's not probably going to make any massive impact, you know, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what the new standard sets are going to be about. I've got my own ideas as to obviously what I'm going to be looking to play. As I say, as soon as the uh, autofocus wants to join me today, that would be great. And we can all enjoy actually seeing the cards that I'm getting. Right, okay, so that's all the commons. Right, so, uncommon, rootless you, uh, that's, yeah, I mean, it's not bad, actually, I mean, it's not, it's not great either, but uh, there we go. Agar the Freezing Flame, Skemfar, Elder Hall, uh, yeah, I say I don't like it, and oh my god, not another one. <laughs> well, well, I can see that this mythic is going to go really well, okay, um, well, Definitely, definitely check out my eBay site because one of these will be on there. Uh, absolutely guaranteed. So, yeah, another mythic though. 
So, I mean, that's not bad. Now, I have seen a lot of uh, people talking about the fact that they have been pulling a lot more of the Mythics and a lot more of the, um, what's the McCallit? The, the, you know, the, the posh, the posh cards, the new design, the extended art, that's it. The extended art ones. That, so apparently that they've increased their chances of you getting that and actually really made the collector boosters not worth getting so much, which I find uh, thankful because I'm not getting a collector booster box this time, I'm getting a set booster box. So that will be on the channel next week. So look out for that one, make sure you hit the notification bell. Here we go, right, so we've got Skemfar Shadow Sage, uh, Assault Ravager, uh, Ascent of the Worthy, and Battle of Frost and Fire. Okay. Uh, not bad. Oh, we've got another foil as well. We've got another foil behind here, we can see, and it's Rune of Speed. Um, yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, don't know really if I like the runes at all this cycle, which is probably one of the things that put me off a little bit. So, not too sure about that, but we shall see. Right, okay, so let me speed through these again. Here we go, all through here. Uh, Axard of Armory, or Axard Armory. Uh, Valkyrie Sword, Great Hall of Set. See, all of these poxy tap lands as the uncommons is just garbage, as far as I'm concerned. And the, uh, another bear of the Lajara. So, whoopee do. Oh, not great there, so. Uh, yeah, so not nothing too fantastic so far. I mean, we're in our last two packs now. I need to say the promo pack is pretty decent. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So, can't complain too much. So here we go. Right, let's go move. Let's move some move swiftly on now, shall we? Right. Okay. So saw it coming. Uh, apparently, that's not too bad. Too bad. So we'll have to see how that goes. And then we got the. Fall of the Imposter, Savella Eye Shaper, and another. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, hello. Right, so we've got a Pathway, and we've got a Foil Rare. Uh, mill three cards, you may put an Elf or Tyvar card from your battlefield. I mean, to be fair, it's a lush looking card. Looks, It looks pretty sexy. Chances are that is probably going to be going in. Uh, what's the word? Uh, eBay is the, is the answer we're all looking for. Not the land, because, you know, I always want the land. The land is good, so that's fine. You never know, make me an offer. I've, come, I've probably changed my mind. Right, and here we go with the last pack. The last pack. I mean, I don't know, really. I haven't really looked enough in order to determine on what kind of deck I would have played on a Friday night. I'd have to probably spend a bit of time actually doing that, but you know, while I'm still trying to get this camera to do what it's supposed to do, it's pretty pointless. So, there we go. Let's try and uh, get this all going here. So, right, these are all uncommons. And the World Tree, oh yes! <laughs> that will do nicely. Thank you very much. That, uh, I believe, is what they call money. So, I, I hear it's gone up quite a bit. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check after this video. I'll flash it up on the screen what the prices are at the moment. Please bear in mind, the reason why I put these prices up there is just for the reference, because what we all do is we all get to have a laugh when you look at these videos later on, and it's, what, three weeks after release, and they've all completely tanked. But World Tree, apparently, uh, people have not been pulling so much, so I'm going to take it. Thank you very much. And there's the Snowland, and there's my tokens out of the way. So let's just uh, quickly have a quick tidy up here. Right, here we go. Right, hang on. Just got to show that I am getting this out of the box. Kids, be careful with knives. I've obviously just, uh, I'm professional. I mean, I'm not a professional chef, but uh, I do make a very good roast though. I, I do make a really good roast. So just just for reference, it's just really, just in case you want to know. I'm very good at roasts. I also do a very mean curry, believe it or not. Right, here we go. And oh, another land promo. So 
Yes, please, that will do. Thank you very much. So that is a decent value right there. Right, scumbags aren't getting my code. I don't know if you can get use more than one code or not. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can't, but if I can't, what I will do is somewhere in this video, I'm gonna flash it up. And then that way, one of you guys who watches my videos can have my code, all right? See, what a nice guy. I'm a, I'm a bloody nice chap when it all comes down to it. I do, See, it's just because I always give the people what they want. There we are, right, get focused. Right, okay. Right, I think I'm probably going to invest in another lens. That's probably the only way I'm going to get around this. Right, okay, right, so, Drogs Helm. Nope, and uh, nope. And Realm is not bad. As Realm Walker enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library at any time, and you can cast creatures of that type from the library. So that is, what do they call that? Uh, Naga, wait, is it a Naga? Menagerie? Something in the menagerie. There's definitely something in the menagerie. That's what I'm, I'm thinking of. Vizier, Vizier in the menagerie, that's it. So just that, but for specific creatures. So, and I think it was about three drop as well. So uh, there we go. Oh, look at this. More land, more and foil land. So I tell you what, the land is golden and for a commander player who basically does this just to uh you know get you know just to, i want to have fun i want to be part of something i want to enjoy cracking packs etc but as a commander player the main thing i'm after is always land the good land and it's the foil version so nice resale about value if i decided to get rid of them one day so here we go I think it'll be fighting off Martin before I ever got a chance to actually put it on eBay, but uh, you never know. I've got to give the people what they want. Right, so dual strike. Uh, whenever you cast your next instant a sorcery spell, will convert mana cost four or less. This turn, a copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Interesting. Uh, Harold King of Skimfar. Giants, amulet. Oh my God's sake, Nico! No, Nico! No! Is a bad Nico. Alright, that's three Nikos. I mean Beep <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say. I it's like it's it's jump start all over again. It's like no get it out of my head. I don't want to see that jump start ever again. Oh my god. Oh dear, I've got to get rid of that. Oh, okay, right, so be prepared, ladies and gentlemen, that you can go onto eBay right now and you can have lots of Nico artists. Just go on in there, just get straight in there, you know, make me an offer. I'll probably take it. So, let's. Oh, I'm. What is that? Three mythics and they're all the same mythic. That's absolutely terrible. I wish my camera didn't work now so you guys wouldn't have to see this. Uh, Rise of the Dread one. I mean, that seems half decent. So create X22 uh, two, two black zombie tokens where X is the number of non-token creatures that died this turn. Pay two and foretell it for one. So same as the three mana cost. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, Snow Covered Mountain. Rubbish. I don't believe that. I mean, what? Who cares about shards? I mean, what what has shards got to do with anything? I mean, what is this? What is what is this absolute rush? When a Nico artist enters the battlefield, create X shard tokens. Okay, so at any point, up to one target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. Whenever that creature, sorry, I'm I'm reading it and did, did it off screen. Um, whenever that creature deals damage this turn, return it to his owner's hand. And then create a shard token. What is a shard token? Have I completely missed what a, a particular mechanic is? I don't, oh, it's just, that's really annoyed me. Absolutely really annoyed me. If I hadn't got all those fancy land, I would probably be very, anyway, I certainly would be even more angry. Right, so here we go. 
part, when half of the world tree enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Two Wurbog, uh, sacrifice part of the world tree, you gain two life and draw two cards, target opponent loses two life, part of the world tree deals two damage to up to one target creature, you create a two two. Seems ridiculous for that, uh, that amount of mana. Okay. Yes! Oh, you beauty! You get in focus! You get in focus! Because that is Valky, God of Lies, which... Oh, Tibbles! Tibbles! Tibbs, I call him for short to his friends. Tibbs! Oh, yes! Now that... That's some gravy. After all of that garbage, I thought I wasn't going to get anything decent. And this is right there. That, that's the puppy. That is the puppy right there. You can leave now. You don't have to watch the rest of this video. It's probably going to be absolutely nonsense. So, uh, you know, it's up to you. You, know, you can decide if you want to. I mean, I might not have flashed the code up yet. If I haven't flashed the code up yet, then uh, you've got to keep watching gotta keep watching but I mean I can't, I don't know how you top this do you do you top this I mean is this now gonna be Varenklex is Varenklex now gonna show up so I mean I don't know we're gonna have to see what happens now so let's get through here let's walk go through here let's get through all this absolute nonsense so uncommon uncommon Tibalt's trickery you know what I'm I'm very happy with that as well that's a really really good decent amount of pulls can you please stay and focus on the thing that I want you to focus on? That's all I'm asking you to do. Right, Tibalt's Trickery, marvellous. Snow Cover Land and a Token Gears, right, so. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good as well. I am pretty happy. I'm a lot happier now. I'd say that, that uh, Nico was really about to put me into a, a really bit of a bad mood, but now uh, now we seem to be okay. So frostbite, yep, get rid of these. Um, absolute nonsense now. This has been going on for far too long. I wanted to do this under 10 minutes, but uh, it seems to have failed miserably. So, right, so Bloodline Pretender, Changeling, Spirit of the Artisan, Binding of the Old Gods, and Var Varagoth Blood Sky Sire in its alternative art. That's the what I was looking for, alternative art, not um, extended art. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Target player searches the library for a card, then shuffles this. Oh, it's that one. Oh, I thought it was the god that flipped. Oh, okay. No, I'm fine with this because it's another, it's another tutor for commander. It's beautiful. Anything you end and a foil nonsense at the end. So, how do we think we got on? Please make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you can, because put the notification bell on so you can see the set booster box I do next week. And we will see if we can hit something a little bit decent on the list. And as you will see on the channel right now, you will see the option to actually go and watch my video on the list. So, thank you very much for your time and have a great day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.